starting with number one. You know Oxford? University, pretty cool. Well, somehow, it's older than the entire Aztec Empire. Oxford was founded in 1096. The Aztec Empire started in the 1300s. While Oxford had been a thing for 200 years, the Aztecs were just beginning to learn that throwing people into a volcano brings better harvests. It's a truly beautiful juxtaposition. Also, there are a few universities that are so old, when they held classes, they didn't teach calculus. Not out of the kindness of their hearts, mind you, but because calculus hadn't been invented yet. Some universities are old, man. Harvard was founded in 1636, two years before King Louis XIV of France was born. So that means that while Harvard was a thing, people were still getting their heads chopped off by guillotine. Fact number two. A samurai could have technically sent a fax to Abraham Lincoln. The samurai were abolished in 1867, right? And Lincoln suddenly stopped living in 1865. So there was a 20 year period where the samurai were a thing and Abraham Lincoln was indeed alive where a samurai could have sent a fax to the guy. That's wild to me. It seems like they were from such different time periods. In my mind, Lincoln was alive like 300 years ago, and the samurai were from like 700 years ago, but that doesn't make any sense just at all, so... Fact number three. Pablo Picasso was alive from 1881 to 1973, and at the same time he was alive, mobile phones were a thing. Like, what? Nah, according to what should be true, he was born in the 1700s. There's no way he had a phone because he's old, right? This also means he could have had Oreos. Oreos were invented in 1912. No way, that's just wrong. It's like with Vincent van Gogh. He died in 1890, and Coca-Cola was invented in 1886. So there was a four-year period where Vincent van Gogh could have drank a Coke. What? Like, what? Somebody needs to call the person in charge of putting events on the timeline and let them know that something's up. Fact number four. What do you think is older, sharks or trees? It's an age-old question that has plagued humanity for centuries. Not really, because it seems like a dumb question. But sharks as a species are 450 million years old. And trees are max 420 million years old. 30 million years is a considerably long time to have lived without trees. Which then leads to the question, what came before trees? Well, I am sorry you asked, because the answer is these things. Yep, giant freaking mushrooms. To be honest, I wish we had these nowadays, that'd be sick. Fact number five. Cleopatra was born closer to the invention of the frickin' iPad than the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza. People really underestimate how long ago the pyramids were built. During ancient Egyptian society, there were historians. Those historians studied ancient Egyptian society. Those guys lasted for a while. That must have been really weird for them. For us, that'd be like we have three giant buildings in the middle of New York that were built like 2,000 years ago and they just maybe have the corpse of some famous dead guy from a while ago inside them. Fact number six. The first person to ever die in a plane crash and the release of the Model T happened in the same year. The Model T was the first car to be available, useful, and affordable to the American public. It was a game changer. It's crazy that the same year a giant technological innovation happened, a human was unceremoniously hurled from the sky in a giant ball of metal for the first time ever. I am 100% sure there's a metaphor somewhere in there. I don't know, I'm not a poet. Fact number seven. The 10th president of the United States, John Tyler, had a son. His name was Leon. That son had two children. One was named Leon, and the other was named Harrison. Harrison is still alive today. His grandfather was born in 1790. His father, 1853. And he was born in 1928. This really puts into perspective how short history is. George Washington was president in 1789, and the average human lifespan is 80 years. So 1789, that's like three people ago. Side note, Harrison was a really funny dude. When he was a kid, some woman asked him, are you going to be president when you grow up? He said, no, I'll bite your head off. What will you do with the bones? I'll spit them out. No, those are some leadership characteristics I'd like to see in a president. Hashtag Harrison Tyler 2024. Fact number eight, sliced bread was invented in 1928. You know what that means? Queen Elizabeth is older than sliced bread. For the first two years of her life, if she wanted to eat some bread, she'd have to eat the whole loaf. That's traumatic. Well, in reality, that just means that the bread slicing machine was invented in 1928, making it more widely accessible. But damn, they didn't think to make a machine that could slice bread until 1928. 
It's amazing humans have even come this far. They really needed to get their priorities in order back then. Fact number nine. The first football game happened only four years after the American Civil War ended. It was between Rutgers and Princeton. The rules were very different at the time. There were 25 players on every team, the ball was round, and couldn't be picked up or carried. But you could smack it with your feet, hands, head, or sides. It's crazy how old football is. Some of the first people to play it could have fought in the Civil War. That's a different type of fear. If the guy coming straight for you with intent to maim has an 18 kill death ratio, you know after what he's witnessed, he's not going to back down. If you want to learn some historical misconceptions you probably still believe, click this video. And if you made it this far, subscribe.